Today, I'm going to show you how to record your UFI 2K C-Series cameras into your NVR network video recorder. These cameras are so awesome. They're small, ultra compact. The image quality is insane for the size and the price isn't so bad. It's perfect. Just a quick recap. It records everything into the micro SD card. There's no monthly fees whatsoever. I've been installing them in a lot of homes, as you can see, here, 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 and everywhere. Of course, one of the downsides is that because it records to micro SD card, meaning that if the thief steals the camera or damages the camera in some ways, then the video file is pretty much useless because it's gone. But luckily, these cameras have RTSP. It's such a nice protocol that lets you record to any other machines in your network. I can view it on my computer, on my video recorders, NAS, anything. If you haven't enabled already, let's go into the app and enable it. So go into your camera, click on the three dots to open the menu, click on settings. Go down to general, go into storage, click on NAS, and enable it. Click on RTSP security to change your password and your uh, user ID. Make sure that authentication is basic. When you're satisfied, click on confirm. Here is the RTSP stream. Make sure that this is the IP address and it's a static IP address so that it doesn't always change. I'm not going to cover how to do that in this video because it varies with your routers. So now that we know that RTSP has been enabled in the cameras, Let's log into your NVR. I'm using an MCrest NVR. It's capable up to 4K resolution. After you log in, this is the screen that you should see. Go into the upper left hand corner, click on management, go down to camera. Here's one of my UFI cameras right here. When you're starting out, you probably have nothing. So you click on manual add. And this is the format that you have to use in order to make it work. The channel can be whatever. The manufacturer has to be customized. The mainstream, the mainstream is this format right here. It's basically your IP address slash live zero. The substream, there's no substream, so we can repeat that as well. So it'll be slash live zero, not live one. Your username is whatever you set in the UFI app, as well as the password that you just set. The channel, the remote, leave it default. The server type is auto and click on save. When all is said and done, you can click on live and then click on the camera that you want to see and then click on mainstream. You can click on substream as well, of course. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful so that you can record your UFI videos straight to your NVR for longevity. With this NVR and with five cameras all recording 24 seven, you can see that I have about three weeks worth of videos in the uh, system. This is using a uh, six terabyte hard drive let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.